to learn how to paint in acrylics. My name is Michael Pickett and I'll be your instructor. And this is Maggie. We're going to do a portrait of Maggie. Maggie is three quarters boxer and a quarter mastiff. Hello. Say hello to everybody. Say hello. Anyway, let's go to my studio and I'll show you how it's done. Hello, we're here at my studio. We're finishing up the drawing of Maggie. We'll do a little more detail and we'll do a little more outlining. We'll add a little more into it. There we go. Now we'll create a burnt sienna wash and we'll cover that whole canvas. Then we'll get our sock and we'll wipe away the paint. And that gives Maggie a nice warm glow. But we'll start out with her eyes first. We'll use black, which is your Mars black. We'll start out with the pupil, and then we'll outline the eye. Now we'll get some burnt sienna, and then we'll put in to her iris. And now we'll blend it all in. Uh, we're using small circular motions along the edge between the brown and the black. That's how you blend it in. I'm going to add a little more white in with the burnt sienna in the iris to bring it out. And then we'll add some more black in the pupil and set that back. We'll add a little bit of white in with the burnt sienna and we'll put in the white part of her eye and we'll blend it in. There we go.
Now we'll add the reflection of light, put some white on each side of her pupil, on the dark side of her eye. Now we'll work on the other eye. We'll pretty much do the same thing. We'll take some black and we'll outline the eye. And add more black into the pupil. Now we'll take our burnt sienna for the iris. And now we'll blend it in. Take a little bit of white and with our burnt sienna We'll blend it in to the iris and bring that out a little bit. Add a little more black into the shadows. Now we'll take some white and we'll add some reflected light. Now we'll take a black, white, and brown together and we'll mix it in to create a gray. And we'll put that underneath her eye and we'll shadow the side of her face alongside of her eye. Now we'll mask in around her eyes using black, burnt sienna, and white. We're creating a gray, then we're blending it in with a black and that brown gives it a nice warm color. Well, we're adding some highlights underneath her eye. We'll mask in around her other eye. We'll just add our dark shadows in first. Now we'll take some white and we'll blend it in with the black and brown. We'll add that around the eye as a highlight and then we'll blend it all in. See blending all that in how it works? We're going to add some more white and we're going to highlight the top of her eye. We're going to add the highlight underneath her eye. Now we're going to add a little more white and we're going to blend it in. We'll work on her nose. We're going to take the black first. And we're going to work on the nostrils. We get those nostrils nice and black. Now we're going to make a cross. We 
Then we're going to take the black and brown together, and then we're going to blend in around it. It gives it a nice warm color. Adding the brown to the black creates the brown to be a warm color. Adding black solely by itself is a cool color. We add some light on top of the nose to bring that out. Dark colors always come in first. Then you add your lighter colors on top of your dark colors. That gives it a more realistic look. We want to darken the line in the middle of the nose. Now we want to add the highlights on top of the nose, add reflected light underneath her nostrils to make it look wet, a little more white on the top to reflect light on top of her nose. Now we'll work on the fur around her nose. We'll add the fur in along the side of her face. We'll blend it in. Okay, we'll work on our whisker lines. And you won't really see her whiskers protruding out because she is so dark that we'll add the whisker dots into where they should go. We'll create a warm shadow underneath her nose, around her mouth. We'll add some more highlight under her chin. A little more white around her mouth. We'll add some black to shadow in, to bring the mouth in. We'll show the whole face. And we'll start on the top of the head. We'll start in with our shadows first. Put in black for the shadows. We're outlining the ear.
Now we'll work on the side of her face down below her whisker marks. Now we'll go up around her eye. So what we're doing now is we're creating the folds of her skin on top of her head. Once you get the outline of where the wrinkles are, you blend that in, and then you take some white and you blend it in to where the wrinkles go, and that will pull the wrinkles right out. Now we're going to add the white right on top of her nose. And we'll fill that in. Add some black to her other ear. We'll take our white and we'll do some highlighting, blending it in with the black and bringing out some of her fur. Now we've switched over to our number two brush. We'll be able to cover a larger area. You want to add burnt sienna, which is your brown, into your black. And you want to fill in all that area of her ear. So you look at your picture to see where the shadows are. And then where the lighter parts are is more of a lighter brown. Then you make your highlight along the edge of the ear. Well, that'll help bring out the ear a lot better. We'll work on the folds of the skin between her ears on top of her head. We will add the dark first. Now we'll place the light over the top of the dark where the light is reflecting. And we'll go ahead and highlight some of the wrinkles by fading in a little dark where the wrinkle should go. And that helps make it look wrinkly. The area that we filled in around her eye blend in with the brown and white that we're filling in along the side of her face. Now Maggie is not totally black. She has brown streaks in her. You add your brown and black together alongside her whisker marks. You want to put those in lightly because you want the whisker marks to show through the paint. That you can see that they're there. And then make it a little darker on each side of the area of her whisker marks. 
The whisker marks are blended in, but are still showing. Now add a little brown and black together, alongside of the white line on top of her nose. We we'll get a little bit of white in with our brown and black. Blend the white. Now we'll highlight around the ear. We'll highlight on top of her eye. Bring out more of the wrinkles by adding a little more white and brown together with black. Highlighting it, and you see how that works? Gives it a more realistic look. A little bit alongside of her nose to blend it in. There we go. Now we'll highlight the whisker marks by adding a little bit of white and brown together and going in between the whisker marks so the whisker marks show up a lot better. We're going to fill in her chest with just white. Once we get that all filled in, we'll add a little bit of black there for her shoulder. Now we'll take black and brown together and we'll lightly add those into the folds into the white. We'll add a little more white on top of the nose. Now we'll go back to the body. We're going to add some black just below the ear and we're going to bring that down and we're going to blend it in to the fur. We're going to get some black just below the ear. We're going to bring that down. We're going to fill in the back part of her body. We're going to touch up a little bit around the ear. We're going to go back to the body, and we're going to fill it all in using black and brown. Add more brown. We're going to highlight it. Put in our hooker screen for the background. Now we switch to our fan brush. We add our yellow, white, a little bit of green and a touch of black. We use the fan brush on its side and we tap it up and down really fast. And when we get close to the face, we go a little bit slower and then we fill that whole area in.
a little more. We carefully add yellow white on the top corner. When we come close to Maggie's body and around her head, we carefully add it alongside of her fur. We don't get any in to her fur. Just basically just outline it, but to make it look like it's not outlined. We'll get our number zero brush and some white, touch of yellow, and we're going to create the sticks and detail in the background. Do some more detail with the zero brush. Get some yellow, and we're going to put in a dandelion. We'll add a little more leaves and grass. Okay, we're going to sign our painting. There we go. We're going to paint the edges of your painting black. That way you can hang it on the wall without a frame. Isn't she beautiful? Well, there's Maggie. Hi there, everybody. Woof. Well, the portrait of Maggie is all done. And anyway, Maggie, what do you think? She likes it. Well, until next time, have a great day and happy painting. <laughs>